Și Dumnezeu mi-a zis, mergi la cuvântul care e pentru 666. So notice, not only do we have a red circle, which is a very important symbol in the occult, but it is white in one place, it is the serpent biting its tail, which is an old symbol for Lucifer. This is Lucent Technologies. I have a little story behind this. A good crowd of Christian people are very informed about Lucent Technologies. Traveling across the country, especially in Little Rock and Denver, I noticed the biggest, the largest warehouses in the country are owned by Lucent Technologies. Everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave, you become a serf to these people. That's their goal, that's their intention. How do I put it? It was like, what do you care about them? What do you care about those people? What difference does it make to you? Take care of your own life. Do the best you can for you and your family. What do the rest of the people mean to you? They don't mean anything to you. They're just serfs. They're just people. You know, it was, it was just a lack of caring, you know? And that's just not who I was. It was just sort of like cold, you know? It was just like cold, you know? And uh, I just said, what, what's the point of all this? You have all the money in the world you need. You have all the power you need. What's the point? You know, what's the end goal? And he said the end goal is to get everybody chipped to control the whole society. I'm not talking really about backwards masking, I'm talking really about backwards messages. In fact, one way to do it, which wouldn't require demons or higher intelligences to intercede, would be just to take straight words, take seven or eight words in a song, and reverse them. And then when you played it backwards, you would hear those words. But when you heard it forwards, what would you hear? You'd hear something backwards it wouldn't make sense so when people talk about how backwards masking is done in the studio yeah that kind of backwards masking is done in the studio no problem that's not what we're talking about we're talking about when you hear mu music and lyrics forward and then you hear those same lyrics backwards and it's a message forward and those same words are a message backwards okay and we're not talking about one or two words we're not talking about something like the cat and playing it backwards and trying to get something like tack backwards and something out of the. We're talking about sometimes over 15 words straight. We're talking on Stairway to Heaven right around 30 words. Okay? And we're not only talking about that, we're talking about a song that wasn't engineered to be heard backwards but came right from the spirit world automatically. Okay? And then we're talking about if you wanted to make lyrics backwards on a song, you're going to mess up that song forward pretty bad, right? Well, Stairway to Heaven is the most popular song in rock and roll. So this, this destroys any kind of argument that, that comes against it. And what destroys it more is the lyric forward often has everything to do with the lyric backwards. And to take it even further, you can hear a lot of these same things on live albums backwards. Because it's the demonic spirits using these human beings. Do you understand that? So let's listen to it. Remember, first of all, that they were invoking Satan, that they've got it from Satan. And listen to what you hear backwards. Forward. Your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Forward it says, and your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Backwards it says, because I live with Satan. Listen carefully. Raise your hands if you heard that. Quite clear, quite obvious. There's a lot more. Backwards it says, here's to my sweet Satan. Did you hear that? Listen carefully. It says, I want to live it backwards like the Zep, whose power is Satan. Did you hear that? Then it says, He will give you, give you 666. deal 
was that I got seven years in which the devil would give me anything I wanted. He'd given me wine, women's song, dope, power, you name it, I'd have it. And then at the end of those seven years, he got to kill me and take me to hell. What a deal. Anybody want to sign up? Yeah, you see, you've got to understand something. The satanic doctrine here is that hell is not what we believe it is or what the Bible teaches it is. The satanic doctrine is that hell is this incredible party. Jim Morrison, too, was into a Lester Crowley. And right here, I want to show you a, a picture on the back of one of his albums. And here you see Jim Morrison. And under him, you see a little statue of a Lester Crowley. And Jim Morrison, too, was into demonism and admitted that he was possessed by spirits. Also in the street plan of Washington, you find pentagrams. Symbols are not in themselves negative. Um, the five-pointed star, the um, pentagram as we call it, it's not in itself negative. Just as the swastika in its original form is not negative, it was just a symbol of the sun. Other things too, probably. What the, what the um, Nazis did, however, was take the swastika and turn it round to indicate the negative. It's what they call re reverse symbolism in Satanism. So what they do with the pentagram, which is why it's become a satanic symbol, is to turn it upside down so it's pointing down. Reverse symbolism. It's the same with the dove, Semiramis. To the general population, the dove equals peace, love, and all this stuff. Reverse symbolism, the dove, dove equals death and destruction. You've got the ancient gods, which were translated into God, um, which are worshipped by the religions unknowingly, most of them. Same with the secret societies. And the same gods, demonic entities as they're called in this case, that are worshipped by the Satanists, are the same gods that are worshipped by the secret societies and the religions, unknowingly, in Satanism, it's knowingly. And these gods, these non-human entities, operate just outside the frequency range of um, human sight, what is known as visible light, is so important for people to understand that when they look through their eyes, they're not seeing everything that exists in, in the space they're looking at, we, we call space. Anyway. You know, they don't use these pentagrams and stuff just for fun. I mean, some of them might, you know, the lower ones who don't really understand it, but the ones that are really involved, that understand the way reality works and how you can manipulate it, these pentagrams and, and these various symbols um, used in Satanism, like the, the reversed uh, pentagram is the classic satanic symbol and the circle around it. They, uh, they are vibrational fields, that's why they, 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 they do these rituals. Um, and, and the entity can enter this reality, the range of visible uh, light, in other words what we can see, within that vibrational field. And suddenly uh, the, the gods uh, appear. Um, and, and these gods, um, as they're uh, perceived, um, feed off human energy. They apparently are powerless except to the extent they can embody some person. The demons apparently are disembodied spirits looking for embodiment. The angels don't have that problem. <laughs> 